And I want to start tonight with a story that might have been overlooked, given that it came out the same day the Seahawks schedule was released. We already know that in the next month or so, Seattle will find out whether it will be a host city for the 2026 World Cup, one of the biggest deals when it comes to international sports. The eyes of the world will be on the U.S. as it teams with Mexico and Canada. Then, just two years later, the United States will also host the Summer Olympics. Well, on Thursday morning, for the first time ever, the United States was also awarded the Men's Rugby World Cup for 2031 and the Women's Rugby World Cup for 2033. And Seattle is expected to make a strong bid to be one of the host cities for both of those events. You don't have to be a soccer fan, a rugby fan, or a regular fan of Olympic sports to understand the magnitude of these events on the world stage. They happen only once every four years, all in a different country. And we're getting four of them here in the United States in the next 11 years, and up to three of them will be right here in Seattle. And that's why tonight we're joined by the president and CEO of the Seattle Sports Commission, Beth Knox, and former Seattle Seawolves star and U.S. Men's Rugby National Team member, Shalom Suniola. From either of your perspective, can you put into words the significance of this announcement? Well, this is a very big deal for the United States uh, and certainly this region. You know, we already are expecting uh, announcements around the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Uh, we have so many other things that are in, in play right now. To then have uh, events that are being bid on 10 and 11 years out, that's just so exciting for our region and lots of momentum to look forward to. Shalom, from your understanding, you were on the board for USA Rugby as part of this bid to try and bring them to the states. How many host cities uh, are there going to be and how many host cities are going to actually apply to try and get uh, a host city bid? Well, we're expecting a coast-to-coast -coast proposal from all the sort of major cities, right? And of course, uh, being biased to Seattle, we think that this would be a wonderful location for a sport like rugby. I mean, it's such a, uh, a spectacle sport. U U.S. in general is an entertainment capital and one of the largest sports markets. So we're excited to see it uh, across the nation for sure. Now, we're still a few years away, Beth, from finding out whether Seattle can be a host city. So why get out in front of this right now? Well, this is all part of the longer term strategy. You know, we are in a rebuilding phase for uh, across the country, frankly, but certainly in Seattle, bringing back that vibrancy and having a thriving downtown sports plays a huge role in that. So next summer we will have the 2023 MLB All-Star Game. That's a huge deal to bring visitors and our own residents to downtown and experience that. And then we'll have other events years following that. So this is an exciting way to start to build that plan, build that strategy, and create a city that is welcoming, safe, an exciting, vibrant place to be. Uh, Shalom, taking nothing away from the sport because I know it is growing and has been by leaps and bounds over the last few years, and the Seawolves are a huge part of that. You're part of the couple championship teams here in Seattle. But I'd venture to say there are still a lot of people out there who aren't enamored with the sport or haven't been exposed to the sport of rugby in general. What could having an event like this here in Seattle do for the overall growth of the game? For sure. I think we're, it's fair to say we're very much in our infancy. Uh, that being said, the opportunity for growth is enormous, right? So not one Rugby World Cup, but two in both the men and women presents a very exciting opportunity, not only for awareness, but also investments as we uh, you know, grow the strategy and grow the ideas of, of what rugby can present as an op from an opportunity standpoint. So Beth, what needs to be done before now and then to convince the world that Seattle is worthy of hosting a major event like this? Well, to give you the context, you know, we will hear about FIFA World Cup in hopefully the next four to five weeks. We started that bid in 2017. It's a long range process, uh, but there are, it's, it's a matter of building the community, uh, building the investors, the, the corporate partners. The city of Seattle has already made their commitment. We have support from all of our professional sports teams. They were behind us when we actually just put our hat in the ring. So we've got lots of momentum and we're gonna focus on the youth. The youth community is a critical piece of this because that's where we start to grow the game. And provide rugby opportunities to communities that may not have been exposed to 
it. We want to make that access uh, available to everyone. Well, I see you're representing tonight with the uh, Seattle right? Seawolves uh, <laughs> logo. Uh, either way, the Seawolves been a relatively new asset for the local sports scene here in Seattle. Shalom, you went out with a bang, that championship in 2019. <laughs> I know it's been a few years since then, but you still keep up with the team and, and how they're doing so far this year? Yeah, very much so. Uh, they've played a critical role in, to, in help shape who I am today, and uh, it's only right over the next nine or 11 years with the Women's World Cup that we sort of pass on those opportunities, right, and what that looks like, working collectively with other key stakeholders like the Sports Commission and the gatekeepers to the sport. I think, uh, you know, that's exciting for anybody. For someone like myself, it's definitely something to wake me up every morning. Well, hopefully they'll uh, bring another championship to this city. A lot more see Wolves rugby to uh, check out between now and 2031 when the men's rugby uh, uh, right. World Cup comes to town. Hopefully, still fingers crossed uh, that Seattle gets the nod to host the men's and the women's rugby World Cup. The Seattle Sports Commission President and CEO uh, Beth Knox, uh, Shalom Suniola. I know you're on the board as well for USA <laughs> Rugby and Seattle Sea Wolves. Thanks so much for both of you and what you're doing uh, to help grow the game in the sport of rugby. Thanks for having us. Thank you.